The CC486 plus CHOP study, um, it is a multi-center phase two study. Uh, it's evaluating the combination of oral azacitidine plus CHOP as initial therapy for patients with newly diagnosed peripheral T-cell lymphoma. Um, as you know, peripheral T-cell lymphoma is quite challenging because it's generally uncommon and also it's heterogeneous. Uh, so it's difficult for precision diagnosis and also to provide personalized therapy. Now, the most common initial therapy is CHOP-based chemo, uh, which tend not to work very well for most PTCL patients. Um, they are associated with suboptimal complete remission rate and also poor uh, survival outcome. Those are the historical data. Um, we also now know, based on gene expression study and, and, and uh, mutational analysis, that uh, uh, genetic mutations, that especially those control epigenetic regulation, they seem to be important for PTCL pathogenesis. Okay, so when such um, epigenetic dysregulation is high permethylation uh, in PTCL, which provides rationale for using uh, epigenetic hypomethylation agents as priming to uh, improve responsiveness to chemotherapy. So we therefore conducted this multi-center phase two study, uh, which used oral azacitidine as epigenetic priming uh, prior to CHOP chemotherapy in order uh, to uh, improve the response rate uh, for patients with untreated PTCL. Um, so uh, this study uses a CHOP, a standard CHOP as the uh, treatment backbone. Uh, so standard CHOP is given every three weeks for a total of six cycles. Uh, what's special about the study design is that uh, we use the oral azacitidine as priming agents. So they're given at 300 milligram daily for seven days priming prior to day one of cycle one. And then we're giving them for 14 days prior to day one of subsequent cycles. The primary uh, study objective is uh, to uh, evaluate the complete remission, uh, response rate. Um, the uh, secondary objectives included safety uh, survivals. We also designed correlative biomarker study to explore. Um, so far, the study has completed accrual. We have 20 evaluable patients. The majority of the patients um, have PTCL with T follicular helper phenotype, which is a subtype of uh, PTCL that has recurrent uh, genetic mutations of epigenetic modifiers such as TET2, IDH2, DNMT3A, and ROA mutation, et cetera. We also enrolled patients with PTCL NOS and ATLL. Okay, um, so the, the treatment um, uh, was given in the outpatient setting. Uh, as we discussed before, there were a total of six rounds of treatment uh, cycles and it appears to be well tolerated with expected side effects to chemotherapy, such as myelosuppression and GI symptoms. They were easily managed uh, in outpatient setting. Um, and the treatment appears to be highly effective. Okay, so on the intention to treat uh, basis for all 20 evaluable uh, subjects, the complete remission rate at end of treatment was 75%. Um, I also want to emphasize that historical control, we talked about CR of 40% range. Um, and importantly, when we look at subgroup of PTCL that was in, enrolled uh, onto this study, those with T follicular helper phenotype uh, was able to achieve CR of 88% uh, in our study. So um, that's very exciting. Uh, we have also conducted uh, next generation deep sequencing of the diagnostic tumor samples, which confirmed the, the prevalence of those recurrent genetic uh, mutation of epigenetic modifiers such as TED2, uh, IDH2, DNMT3A, and ROA, um, some of which those mutations uh, may have um, impact on response and survival. Certainly those are preliminary signals that requires further study. Um, Overall, I think we're very excited about our study results, and uh, which looks to be a very promising initial treatment strategy for PTCL, uh, especially for those PTCL subtypes with genetic susceptibility for um, epigenetic hypomethylation uh, intervention. 
So finally, I would like to mention that this active combination will be further assessed in a upcoming uh, intergroup alliance study in the US, the uh, clinical trial A051902, which compares the uh, chop choip plus oral azacitidine uh, with uh, the standard chop or choip arm. Uh, there's a additional treatment arm which combines chop choip with uh, PI3 kinase inhibitor duvelisib. So it's three arm randomized study, uh, including the chop plus oral azacitidine as one of the treatment arm. So we're very excited about our uh, study results, and I hope that this could contribute to improving the uh, response rate for patients requiring initial therapy, and that will further translate into improved uh, survival outcomes.